All right, so this is my favorite thing to do in the gym when no one else is around and you don't have anybody else to work out with. So we're gonna end up shooting 100 jumpers and 100 free throws. We're gonna shoot 10 jumpers, 10 free throws, 10 jumpers, 10 free throws, and we're gonna continue that for 10 rounds. I'm already breathing heavy because I've already done three rounds of it, so this is round four. The jumper might be a little bit tired, but uh, we'll try to make as many as we can. So this is what it looks like. Usually you're trying to make nine out of 10 free throws and hopefully six, seven jumpers. That time, I think I was nine for 10 in the jumpers and seven of 10 from free throws. That's a little tough on the free throws. But anyway, keep track of all your numbers as you're going so you know how many you made out of 100. I'm gonna keep working out. See you another day. Okay, so I just finished the entire workout. Um, shooting drill, whatever you want to call it. I consider it a workout because you get cardio uh, in that workout. And uh, I ended up with 78 jumpers going in, 85 free throws going in. One thing that I'll, uh, that's a pretty good shooting day. Um, free throws, I like to be like right at 90 um, if possible. You know, there's nobody guarding you, there's no pressure, all those kind of things. Maybe I went seven for 10 during that one stretch because there was pressure, the camera was on. But um, really, the main thing you want to focus on is those, two first, those first two free throws after you've done all the running because that's kind of like game time action. Uh, you, you want to make those first two right out of the gate. Uh, there was one round where I missed my first free throw and then I made the next nine. So don't cheat yourself and say, oh, that one doesn't count. Uh, let, me, let me start over. Let me start fresh on my free throws. No, count every single rep. So every single shot that you take make it be a counting shot. That way you don't cheat yourself. Write it down, keep track. When you first start doing this, you know, you, you might be happy with 50 jumpers going in and you know, 70 free throws going in. But then you wanna see some progression as far as that goes. I've been doing this for years and years and years. This is kinda of like my staple thing that I do when, uh, when I have the opportunity to do so. 
And so whenever I've got the gym to myself, this is the first thing I do. It's kind of like the old Steve, uh, there's a, a drill, Steve Nash drill, you can probably find it on YouTube, something similar. Um, I'm not sure, I think he times it or something like that, but it's how many shots he can make in a certain amount of time. But it's very similar to that drill where he's, I think he's flipping the ball like this, so it's kind of like he's catching a pass. But do what uh, works for you, and uh, for me, this works. So, see you another day.